Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. It's Angela, the Traveling Crafter, and I am here with a, well, I'm here with a series of Thrifted Treasures, which is hosted by Dale at Not Too Shabby Chic, and uh, I, <laughs> uh, well, before I tell you the story, I want to welcome all of you, uh, whether you're new and just arriving to the channel or stumbled upon it, uh, thanks for being here. I invite you to definitely subscribe and uh, join me if you enjoy doing lots of arts and crafts trying new things, doing some thrifting uh, hauls, shopping with me, doing a little bit of travel. And if you're returning friends, thanks for coming back. As always, I appreciate you very, very much. And I hope that you're going to like today's video. So here's the story. I needed to get out of the house and uh, I had been working. I'd been working too hard. So I took a few hours uh, and I did a loop and that loop includes, well, on this adventure, it included five thrift stores, one consignment store and a, um, something else. Oh, I didn't know six. I had made six stops. I was going to go to, ha uh, the half price bookstore and I did not go there. So six stops along the way and it was slow picking to begin with uh but what i ended up with uh, i have separated out into some of the things that i will be uh, installing into my craft room and then i have another preview video that will come up out uh if you haven't watched those those are the videos that preview some of the items not all but just a few items that will be uh in upcoming sales so that i uh, keep it separate and so you can can see some of the things that are uh, coming down the pike. So this first haul is kind of the tchotchkes, the embellishments and things that I got. So we'll see how far we get on this and then I will come back. I have a book haul for you and then I have um, the uh, preview as well. So it started off kind of slow at the first shop, and I think I spent a total of maybe $5, and I don't even remember at which store was which. But um, at one of them, I got two bags full, two hefty gallon bags full, or no, maybe, yeah, two, um, full of beads and such. Well, in the bag uh, what were all of these paper fasteners, these brads, these are half inch, which are really nice. They're now, they're not really long, so they can't hold a ton of paper, but they were in there along with all of these beads. And I've been trying to, uh, stock up on some, uh, different kinds of beads that might not be necessarily my style. Um, but I think that I need to expand my horizons, if you will. And try some try some new things. And I've been experimenting and making some dangles uh, for those retro readers and have a video on that. Uh, so I picked some up. And in addition to that, there were a closure assortment, which I have to be honest, I'm not really sure how you use this. Oh, these are for um, great for use with braiding cord and craft uh, craft lace. When you're happy with your jewelry design and ready to add the closures, follow these steps. Fold the end of the cord at, or craft lace. Glue or twist the folded end into the coil. Then add the lobster claw clasp to the end of the coils. Okay, well, I've never had them like this before, but we're gonna put them with the lobster claws and see how they work. So in addition to that were these three elastic lace cords. Now, I have to tell you, these are beading elastics and, you know, kids make use them to make all sorts of little bracelets and such, but I'm going to try one of these on a test, on a test journal, because I'll tell you what, I cut off a piece of one of each kind and I pulled it as hard as I could. And it took quite a bit of strength for me to actually break it. And I think I might be able to use this definitely for dangles or for tassels, uh, but 
I think I might also be able to use it for maybe binding. We'll try it. If anybody has tried this before, let me know. Uh, this one seems to be the most obvious one. It's not terribly, you know, thick, but those came in there as well. Uh, and then these were the beads. This one was by itself. Now here's where I'm saying these are not really my, something I would normally get, but I thought it pre-opened everything, but I thought these were kind of cool. So, uh, and they added to kind of the, a different look for more, a natural look, if you will. Goodness gracious, it's like Fort Knox. And as you can see, these are only 50 cents, so winning. And I'm opening these because, A, there's going to be, a, goodness gracious, there's going to be a glare. They really don't want me to get in this. There we go. And I just wanted to look. Um, I like that the, the holes on this are, oh, we got a little, we got a little blingy one just kind of in there. So yeah, those were nice. And then the rest of the bag had um, this smaller bag in here filled with uh, the wooden letter beads and then all of these. Now these were for little kids, but I thought these would make really cool dangles on retro readers. You can tell they're pretty big. And someone was working on them. There was a bunch of pipe cleaners in here. Here's one right here. Um, to make a little person. But I'm going to use them as they are. And I think because space is important, I think I'm going to put the wooden beads together because they're pretty big. Trust me, this took a lot of thought. I overthought this and I'm like, Angela, get over it. Just throw them in there. And then we'll put these in there too. So all the wooden beads are kind of together. So I got those and I put them in these little things. And then the other baggie that was in there. So all of this that I've shown you was in one big gallon bag in smaller bags inside. And then all of these. Now, I really wasn't even interested in these when I picked them up. But gosh, they, we, they've got some crosses, stars, flowers, little medallions. There's a butterfly. They seem like they might be plastic. Oh, there's some like spacer beads some other round beads. I mean, these are charms and dangles for days. So I bonus that I got these. But again, I don't have any space in my small little containers, so I had to had to put them there. Uh at the um consignment store, it was it well, it was kind of slim pickings. And not only that, but um a couple of the things that I did want to grab were, um, they had not yet gone on sale and I was not going to, th this was two nineteen dollars for both of these. Now at Hobby Lobby, it said that whenever these were purchased and let's hope they work, uh, they were $1.99 a piece. So, you know, I saved, I saved a little bit of money. Okay. Well, I never, I never pass these up. These are acid-free extra strength glue sticks. So, and it goes on blue. We'll try them all. I, you know, I have my favorites, but I will, I will pick these up here and there. Um, in addition, I got these that I think are really cool. And these will, I, I will put in with my sewing things in the closet. But look at these. Look at that. They're little diamonds. Shine bright like a diamond. So I think these have a lot of uses. And these were, oh, these might have been in, these might have been in with these two. It was just a whole plethora of a variety. Uh, in addition, these were each a dollar. Now, this is all rickrack. I want to point out a couple of things to you here. Um, I, who knows? These were all a buck. They could have very well been from, um, you know, Dollar Tree for all I know. But I don't have these kinds with the flowers on them. And so I thought, why not? But the other thing I want to show you is it was worth it to me because these are really nice spools. And I've also never seen these. But these, I don't, I mean, I'm assuming that's what they're made for. But now you know if you've ever seen these, you're like, what are those for? Um, they hold the lace on or the ribbon or whatever. 
So I thought those were kind of fun. So those will go in with my vintage um, seam binding and um, Rick Rack. So I got those. And then um, these were each a dollar as well. Uh, but I love this color combo. And, you know, who, you can never go wrong with gingham. Again, could I have got these? They were $2 initially. So it wasn't that great of a deal. But they were colors I knew I would use. So I bought them. I also got, and I did open one of these because I panicked when I got home. Let's see, did I, where's the other one? Here it is. This is the one I opened. These were $8 a piece. Now, um, I have a Dymo um, label maker, and I only had like a few colors, and I think that they were like neon. So these are for um, around the block. It's like a handheld one. Here's when I, why I panicked. I saw these. I put them in my cart. Later on in the office section, I saw the actual machine. And I was like, well, that's weird. It's like two pieces and it wasn't together. So I just passed it. Well, when I got home and I saw that that was the machine it worked on, I was like, oh no, are these even going to work in my Dymo? They do. So if you have a Dymo and you ever find these um, in the wild, I would suggest you pick them up. They were eight bucks to begin with. I paid $1.29 for each one of them. So I've got a nice variety. The cool part about these is the um, these are like thinner. They're not like the old kind and they will go they'll go nice on a piece of, of paper in a journal and lay a little flatter I think so I was excited about those um I also got the, the I haven't even looked at these I uh, did open them up to see make sure I could see what they were but 50 prompted cards to spark inspiration. I don't know why I keep buying all of these like that but I think it's because of those art journals that I have coming up and I think they're kind of cute. Let's just pull a couple of them out. I don't want to get them out of order. Kickstart creativity. 50 prompted cards. Trust the creative process. Pursue disruption. Proceed onward. Be open. Be determined. Be fearless. Okay. So here's Wander. Well, of course... Wandering has the potential to invigorate and inspire, to help us see our work in fresh new ways. Sometimes wandering is the best action to take, so get up and walk away, abandon your chair as you wander. I used to do that when I worked at the office. I would like just have to get up and go somewhere. As an experiment, abandon the table or boardroom for walking meeting and see what happens. We used to do that all the time. Go outside for a walk. Take some photos. Wander, wander in a public space. So, I, I, I don't know. I thought... You know, they're, they've got cool designs on them. So there's, uh, I'm assuming maybe there was a Wander card or something. Um, so these all say Wander. Let's just pull them out a little bit. Okay. So we have all of the, oh, no, they're not. Alphabetize, Amplify, Borrow. So those these are all actions. These are all perspective, attention, awe, connection, detachment etc. Intention. Ahimsa. I don't know what that is. Commonweal. Courage. Hospitality. Justice. So, you know, those are pretty. And they're, they're a mat. So if nothing else, if I don't want to use them how they're, how they're intended, I could just back them and leave the front, cover that little word and I got journal cards, so I thought those were pretty cool, and I also thought these would be really cool uh, in the in the art bundles, um, or even in the the um, school days bundles. So that's why I got those. So I'll be sharing some of those as well. I did um, at my favorite. Um, I went to three of the four. Um, what do you call them? You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna do this while we're talking. Three of the four, um, goodness gracious, Angela, spit it out. Thrift stores that are my favorites. And uh, the one that is my very favorite and closest to my home is um, the one, really the only one that has 
really good jewelry that I, I find. Most of the other ones do not. So I'm just going to cut this apart. So this one has these cool little... flat, you know, discs, and there's a lot of them. So I think these will be cool. And I'm just going to pull these off. Okay. That might be very satisfying to watch. So <laughs> there we go. And some great big ones and some dark brown ones. So now these are all in here. Um, this is the kind of necklace that doesn't warrant, warrant keeping it and clipping things off as I go, because obviously immediately when you do that, it comes apart. So, where was the other? I don't know if I'm going to be able to use that. I don't think so. It's not going to come out of there. Okay, wait, that can go in the garbage. These are also wooden beads, and so I'm going to put those in here as well. And I think I have room down here. Well, oh no, I moved them. I moved all the beads to um, under the cabinet next to me. Um, but I had two, like one was all the blingy ones, and I thought, well, if I needed to, I could put them right underneath me and have, whoa, have some wooden beads as well. Okay, let's fix this before we have a disaster. And now we got all those in there. Ba -ba -bango. And the last one, again, a wooden necklace. And these are the lighter colors. So I've got a really good variety to make a lot of things. Um... And I do have uh, a few pokey tools and some dangle sets on the Maker's Market. The link is in the description. So please, if you haven't, hop over. Whoa. Hop over and check it out. There are wonderful makers and we're adding more um, every single week. So that is great. And uh, if you know somebody who uh, makes beautiful art, no matter what it might be, uh, we are um, actively seeking uh, folks that that would like to join us. And especially if they have a different art that they would like to share, we would like to have them along with us. So um, go check, check that out and make sure you join because we are going to be doing some cool things here shortly. And I wouldn't want you guys to miss out and I'll be announcing it over there. Uh, this one I thought was really cool, and it had some more of those flat, kind of coin-like beads. This one I will put in, I think I have room over here on the left, I'll just put it there until I decide to use it, and then when I do, I'll take it apart and put it away. But I thought that was kind of cute. And it's been a long time since I bought, bought jewelry, because I'm pretty picky about it. Um, okay, this was another thing that I was so excited about. I only left one of the, 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 the these out. These were $1.29. Um, <clears throat> if any of you have a P-Touch, a labeling system, I have two of them. I love them. Um, and you see these, pick them up. But there were six of them. And these are scrapbook and photo safe tape. So these can go right on your photos, on the back of photos. So I grabbed them all. I was really excited about that. I also, these were at the... Um, These were 80% uh, off, so they were $2.19 and 80% off. But these are just little Heidi swap things. I've got um, a paper pad and some embellishments. I'm, I don't remember what the brand is, and I thought these would go well with them, so I picked those up. Uh, these and this was all at the thrift, thrift store in one big bag, and it was a mess. So these are all Anna Griffin. They were actually in with all the party items. So I did, oh, this one's already open. I did um, take the bigger pads apart and took out some of the things. But it's kind of nautical, a little, you know, we've got some, well, here, you can tell what all is in there. Die cut embellishment decorations, 2016, so they're older. 25 pieces, and that's what, and I have, basically three packs and then there were all kinds of other things in there like these were in here and some of these more medallions and banners and so it's just full of all kinds of things 
similar to that. But I thought these would be great for my nautical, beachy themed journals, as well as the patriotic journals. So I am doing, you know, each month I'm going to be working on different journals. So right now I'm working on school days. That was my January project. I'm not done yet, but you know, I'm working on them. And next month I think I'm going to work on art journals. Okay. Oh no. Next month I think I'm working on um, spring journals or maybe I have some Easter books. This I'm excited to see what it's all about. I got this at, for $2.29. Ow. Okay, let's... My worst fear. Cutting myself on camera. That would be horrible. This is called a Royal Langnickel Essentials Watercolor Artist Colors Flip Kit Travel Watercolor Set with 18 colors. <clears throat> wow, that took my breath away. Um... No idea how much these go for retail. I didn't, you know, look it up. But they look nice. I mean, so what do we got here? What, what's the story? Well, it has your water pen. Oh, never used. That's cool. I'll never have to take my watercolors my watercolor palettes. Again, I always take my watercolor pen, pencils, pens, whatever. That's cool. I'm going to have to find something else. Oh, and it's got, this is a sponge. That's neat. I'll have to look this up and see if it's, you know, a cheapo, El Cheapo brand or if it's something substantial. Either way, I got it for $2.29. <clears throat> there you go. And... Carrie and I would like to do a, um, she suggested doing a masculine journal. And these were also at the consignment store and I paid, uh, I did pay $2. Uh, but I thought, okay, those will be perfect. You know, I, I can build up my masculine stash. And then at one of the thrift stores I picked, oh, I got another bracelet. I forgot I got that one. That was at my first stop, my $5 stop. Um, I don't see these often, but I do pick them up when I, when I can. They are from, I think, Creative Memories. And I have a bunch of those that are, have my photos in them. But this is, this would have held your photos. And they're very, very sturdy and, um, lightweight. And they have the elastic bands on the side and you just pop it closed. So I didn't pass that up because I thought that would be a good good investment. It wasn't, how much was it? I don't know. It doesn't have a price on it. And then lastly, the last thing that I have to show, I found more stamp stuff, but this is more travel type st stamp stuff. So the blocks, I don't, uh, I feel like I already have blocks in my travel bag. So, um, I don't think I really need those in there. I don't know. But these are stamping up the baby ones, just like my close to my heart ones, like the uh, distress inks. Um, these two are not open. I think there's only one. Yeah, these are not, this one was open and this one, and I did test them both. They work great. So I'm only, can only assume that these will too. So I've really built up my little baby stamp, uh, travel stamp collection. So will I need to go up and, and kind of take inventory, which I just did that one not very long ago, but um, and just make sure that I have, that I do have stamp pads in there or stamp blocks and then add these little guys to my mustache. But friends, that is my haul for, um, this part of the bling and bling and zing. And I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, come back for the next one where we're going to be taking a look at some of the books that I got. Uh, until next time, friends, as always, remember to take time to just be. We'll see you soon. Cheers.